We're dealing with the uh, western North Atlantic, probably one of the roughest and most dangerous bodies of water on the planet. The search and rescue region reaches into the Arctic, up the wild Labrador coast, and into the reaches of Baffin Bay and, and uh, Davis Strait. We have the offshore oil industry. Canada's only offshore oil development is Hibernia and the, the gas fields of Sable Island. They present their own unique challenges. Daily, we have thousands of ships of the of the global commerce passing between Europe and the uh, eastern United States seaboard and the great industrial belt of Delaware and Chesapeake Bay and New York and the likes. I think they all added together, we've got a very busy industrial um, maritime domain uh, which demands uh, a considerable SAR focus and it's always evolving and needs our attention, paying attention to all the elements of, the, of it. Rescue Coordination Centre is a um, partnership with the Canadian Coast Guard and Department of National Defence. We have um, Air Force uh, coordinators as well as uh, Coast Guard members that have all have a wide variety of experience, whether it be as a pilot or navigator or as a, um, a mariner on the ships. They bring a lot of experience and they're extremely skilled and talented at what they do and ultimately our goal is to um, bring people that are in distress home to their, uh, to their loved ones. When a call comes in to the uh, rescue center, basically the coordinators gather all the information and they determine the uh, level of urgency and what resources are required to be tasked. So they'll plot that on a chart um, and determine if there's uh, SARA assets available, whether it's assets from 413 Search and Rescue Squadron or 103 in Gander, or a Coast Guard asset or one of our SARA partners, and they'll basically prosecute that case until uh, the uh, situation has been resolved and uh, the people in distress have now been uh, uh, rescued. How you doing? Good. The role of the Canadian Coast Guard in Search and Rescue is to ensure that there's a federal SAR presence for maritime search and rescue. The coordination part, which is here at the Rescue Coordination Centre, the uh, operational part on the water, which would be the, uh, the marine units, be the um, uh, land-based or coast-based uh, stations with their lifeboats and also the operational offshore uh, units. Search and Rescue in Canada is a system of systems. There's uh, no one part that's any more important than the other part. I mean, ultimately, in Search and Rescue, it's to bring people home. Uh, so you can break it down to uh, is it most important to get Sartex on the ground? Is it most important to, to find the search object? Is it most important to uh, um, medevac somebody off the boat? All of it is, is the most important. So to be able to have a system of systems, we need to come together, work together, uh, make sure that, uh, that our techniques and procedures uh, mesh, make sure that uh, in the end, make sure we know the personalities. Yeah, you, when you work with people and you get to know those people, uh, either on a unit level, inter-unit level, or inter-agency level, then uh, when the time comes and it really counts, you're able to work at uh, peak proficiency. 413 Squadron has an incredible mission. We wake up every morning knowing that the call can come and our crews will launch on a SAR mission so that others will live. This mission is our greatest motivation and our greatest success, and it takes all of us to make it happen. Regular Reserve Force, Civilian and IMP. As a SAR pilot, um, I have a, a number of uh, fairly significant challenges. Uh, the two ones are uh, in two parts. One is uh, managing my crew of seven on the Hercules, and the other is managing the mission. Um, the crew has a lot of requirements in terms of uh, knowing what the mission is, logistical requirements, getting to the aircraft, uh, stores, food, feeding. Uh, the other part is actually going out and doing the mission, so coming up against weather, what, are, what is the weather there? What is the weather here? Um, what is being asked of me? Can I accomplish what's being asked of me? And, uh, and how do I actually go and do it? 
as a large part, we have uh, very, very experienced and trusted uh, professionals in all positions from SARTEC to loadmaster to engineer to pilots. And, uh, and like any organization, we need to rely on each other. Um, so uh, the, the people that were responding to SAR, this is anybody from fishermen off the coast to uh, you know vessels in distress out to sea to hunters in, in the Arctic to uh, recreational kayakers in Gas Bay. So it's a very diverse uh, group of people and, uh, and just letting them know and the, and the people of Canada know that we're always here and we're always standing by uh, to respond in this large area uh, with search and rescue coverage. All stations, all stations, all stations. This is Rescue Centre Bay of Islands. Rescue Centre Bay of Islands, Rescue Centre Bay of Islands. For exercise, for exercise, for exercise. We fly, we train with any kind of scenario. So we're doing medical scenarios. We're doing land sequences where any kind of scenario. Today we worked with the, with the Coast Guard. This is, you know, this very easily could have been a mission. I've done a mission very similar to what we did today where we found a guy on this, you know, found a woman on the, on the side of a shore from, you know, a crash boat. So really any scenario that we can do, we're training. Um, and if we're not training, then we're out uh, doing the job, which is really busy out here in Newfoundland. We really do appreciate the support we receive from the Canadian military in allowing us to collaborate in this way. It's going to make our community safer. It's going to make us better prepared for when a disaster or an emergency happens. It's really wonderful to hear after the fact the, uh, the, the, the report on a SAR mission the JRCC operators and their coordination of the event, the ship's crews of the Canadian Coast Guard, how they responded, and the flight crews of the Hercules aircrafts from the squadron in, in Greenwood to the, how the flight crews of the helicopters uh, responded to the emergency. And when you read all the complexity, and a life was saved, and there's a life saved every day, but you see what it takes to, in the, in the deep Atlantic, well out to sea or on a distant piece of coastline, how all those elements come together, it's very pleasing. You can't say thank you enough to the, uh, the squadrons, the ships and the, the uh, rescue operators at JRCC Halifax. And they just do this day in, day out, and very few of those cases make the news.